the ugly truth about technique. Hey, I'm Sarah from Most Motion, and I'm here with another video for every sports and fitness coach who wants to accelerate their participants' performance and help to prevent injury at the same time. So what are we talking about today? We're talking about technique. Now, when most coaches think of the word technique, they think of things like skill acquisition and repetition and correct. And some coaches will even think about the um, their opportunity to teach somebody something new or uh, teach them the correct way of doing something. But the truth is, every individual is completely different. And just because a movement looks right to you doesn't necessarily mean that it's the most efficient way for them to move. So uh, when we think about correct technique, we think about what the textbooks tell us, which is often a mathematical model based on physics and mathematical equations. And that brings out the, um, the most closely related um, movement position for most people. But your participants are not most people, they are themselves. And even if you're not using a, um, a textbook idea of what te uh, correct technique might be, again, it is based on one individual person that is doing something very well, and then people observe that person who's doing that technique differently to everybody else and reverse engineer it and think that that's what they should be doing. So they break it down into how they did that and, and then they try and put their own uh, bodies into those positions as well. But again, we're going back to the fact that everybody in your session is an individual. And just because it looks uh, right to you doesn't mean to say is right for them. So. When I think about exp uh, technique, I think about the opportunity to give people new experiences. Now, the way that the brain works is not around what might be. OK, and uh, an example that I often use like this is uh, the example of um, trying to draw a shape based on the number of dots. OK, so if I put a dot on a board and I say, guess what shape this is? and I don't give you any other information, you will go through all the shapes you know, trying to guess which one is right and which one is wrong. And if you're not getting any further information around that shape, you could go through um, square, you could go through triangle, you could go through all the shapes that you know. But if every time you got that guess wrong, I put another dot on the board that gave you more information about what it is that I wanted from you, then it would be faster for you to reach the right shape. So let's say, for example, I wanted a circle. I could draw many, 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 many dots on that paper. But if I drew one dot, then you would just be guessing forever. If I drew two dots, you might uh, think of a, a line. If I drew three, you might think of a triangle, then a, a four might be a square, all the rest of it. But as soon as I go past that, you're thinking around the lines of a circle. OK, and it's the same when we come to coaching technique, because if we give our participants more experience of doing what we don't want, then we get to what we do want much quicker because the brain, their brain has had the experience of, well, that didn't feel very e easy. It didn't feel very simple. It didn't feel very effective. And we are hardwired as human beings to find the easiest way to do things. It is uh, it's a law of nature that they call uh, the conservation of energy. So we find the fastest way to do anything. So if we've done a lot of things that feel hard or that feel difficult or feel awkward, then our brain goes, well, I'm not doing that. That's way too hard. I'll do it this way because it's a lot easier. And most of the time, by the time you've done three or four different ways of wrong on purpose, the brain is automatically thinking along the lines that you wanted and therefore you will get technique improvements much quicker. So in conclusion, uh, when we think about technique, we're not thinking about we must do it right this way all the time in the expense of any other movements we could be thinking along the lines of experience and giving our clients, our participants, the opportunity to experience different movements in different ways around the skill that we're trying to achieve. So when we do that, we have two outcomes that come out of that very, very quickly. 
One is that we pick up the skills much faster. And two, we give the body the experience of moving in different ways, which keeps our joints open, which keeps our bodies capable of moving, which actually avoids the risk of injury. So I don't know if you've ever thought of the idea of technique being experience or if you're always just thinking around the idea of correct. Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to come and join our Facebook group, we've got the Injury Hackers Facebook group at injuryhackers.com where we talk about this kind of stuff all the time. We look at different ways of viewing the idea of coaching and give you shortcuts and insights that you might never have heard of before. So come and join us at injuryhackers.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.